Throughout Minecraft's 17 major updates, players have always been finding new unintended glitches in the game, some being extremely exploitable and others just being outright insane. So today, we'll be taking a look at some of the most game-breaking glitches that have ever been found in Minecraft's decade-long history. But super quickly, we're getting so close to 1 million subscribers, so if you can even consider subscribing to the channel, it would mean a ton. Alright, so probably the first thing that comes to mind when you think of glitches are the ones exploited by players. So let's start off by looking at some duplication glitches that absolutely break the game. On the current version of Minecraft, you can duplicate any item you want by using what's called the anvil dupe. To do this glitch, you get yourself a completely damaged anvil, a full inventory of filler blocks, and the item you want to duplicate in a free slot. Then you continuously switch out and rename the item until the anvil breaks, and bada boom bada bing, your goods are duplicated as easy as that. Another really interesting duplication glitch that was found on the version right before the anvil dupe is the dragon's breath dupe. Now when most people try to fill up glass bottles with the dragon breath, they look down at it. But if you stand in the breath and look up at the dragon and spam right click, the dragon breath will actually expand and duplicate throughout the entire end island, giving you endless bottles of dragon breath. Now that's a pretty cool collectible item you can get an infinite amount of, but what about the actual dragon egg? Well, if you collect the egg by dropping it on a torch, you can use an active end portal to get an infinite amount of dragon eggs on modern versions of the game. By placing fences below the end portal and dropping the egg from six blocks above, it will go through into the end as a block as well as an item. So those are a few duplication glitches that take place in the end, but what about some even more game breaking dupes that can be done in the nether? During version 1.16, you were able to duplicate any item you wanted by simply using using dolphins and nether portals. To do this glitch, you would set up a water stream flowing into a nether portal with a dolphin in it, just like this. Then you would throw whatever item you want in a shulker box right on the edge of the portal, and the dolphin will come to pick it up while going into the nether. Once this happens, as you can see, we got the original item right here, and once we go in the nether, there will be a duplicate of the original item. Speaking of the nether, it's pretty hot down there, but you want to know what else is hot? Burning carpets for fuel, because if you you set up an automatic carpet duplication machine, these rugs will turn into your best friend. To make one of these bad boys, you place an observer facing this way, a block behind it with a piston on top of it, two slime blocks in front of it, and a carpet on top of the piston. Then when you activate it with a lever, it will shoot out infinite carpets, and if it falls into hoppers that lead to a furnace, it will provide infinite fuel. Similar to this, you can even make a minecart rail duper by building practically the same machine, but instead with a rail, which works the same way. Yeah, so those are some insane and useful duplication glitches, but none of them come as close to the dirt dude. On one of the 1.16 snapshot versions, if you grow a 2x2 two two of trees with one block above them, they will magically appear on that block and cause three other dirt blocks to spawn beneath them. Some players even figured out how to make an automatic dirt farm using this glitch, easily making it the greatest dupe of all time. Now, you can easily have a field day with any of those dupes, but how about we take a look at a few Minecraft mobs that are beyond broken with glitches. First off, did you know that you can literally one-shot the Ender Dragon in less than a second after entering the End Dimension? Basically, if you slam down an End Crystal on the Obsidian spawn platform at the exact moment you enter the End, it will kill the Dragon instantly, and you can leave the End without breaking a sweat. This also gives you easy access to the End Islands, where you can perform another pretty interesting glitch. If you are to transport two shulkers away from an end city and position them like this with a boat right on the edge of the closest one and stand behind it, you can trick them into shooting each other and there's actually a very small chance the shulker closest to you will duplicate itself when hit, pretty much allowing you to get infinite shulker boxes when done over and over again. Now those two mob glitches are pretty insane, but let's take a look at an even glitchier mob, the strider. When striders were first added, players discovered that if you ride one against a wall like this, it will go from a measly 3 miles per hour to a mock speed of 5 in just seconds. There's also another weird glitch involving striders that made them the first ever flying mountable mob. By giving a strider any sort of air time, like by walking it off a cliff or reeling it in with a fishing rod, it will float as if it's on the moon and can even be ridden through the air. Oh my, this is so weird. Going back to version 1.17, let's take a look at the newly added oxalotl in a really 
really strange glitch you can do with them. If you group a bunch of oxalatos together and attach a lead to them, they will commit some sort of terrifying hunting ritual around you, and it just has to be one of the strangest glitches that you can do in the game. Now, uh, if you thought that one was weird, just wait until you see the three-legged cat. Due to a glitch during one of the 1.16 snapshots, there is a strange visual glitch where cats would spawn in without their front left leg. I know it's bad I'm laughing at this, but the cats don't even care that they're missing a limb. They still keep a clean stride. Alright, so although the glitches and exploits we've looked at so far seem insane, we're just scratching the surface, because when it comes to world generation, these glitches get even crazier. On one of the 1.17 snapshot versions, a glitch happened in the code that allowed fossils that generated really deep underground to override the generation of bedrock, which is extremely illegal. Because if you mine out all the bone blocks, you will create a void hole and can easily get access to the underside of the world, which you're not supposed to be able to do. Another world generation glitch that's pretty well known by now is if you find some swamp clay and go six blocks away from the middle of it in the positive Z direction and dig straight down, you will find diamond. But on 1.17, the technique changed because instead of going six blocks in the positive Z direction, you instead only go three to find the diamond. Just make sure to be careful when digging down for those diamonds or else you might find yourself falling through a void hole and onto the nether roof, which is where another weird world generation glitch occurs. On a 1.16 snapshot version, crimson nether trees would randomly generate on top of the bedrock roof. Like, come on, who's growing these things up here? This could be good news though, because if you find yourself stuck up there and need to get food, you can actually find glitched mushrooms, which uh, have also conveniently spawned on top of the nether roof for years, and can craft some nice mushroom stew. Now those were some world generation glitches from the nether and the overworld, but on one of the 1.17 snapshot versions, the end dimension is incredibly broken and glitched. See, here we have Steve, a 10 year old Minecraft veteran who is trying to beat the game on this version, but little does he know how painful it's actually gonna be. Because not only does he have to navigate this massive chungus of an end island, but the end crystal pillars are literally underground protected by thousands of end stones. So, uh, Steve, uh, you, you think you're up for the challenge? Oh, uh, in into the void he goes. Alright, now we've talked about duplication glitches, mob glitches, and some world generation glitches, but how about we take a look at some of the most game-breaking block and item glitches. So we all know that not even the strongest of pickaxes can break bedrock. But on one of the 1.17 snapshots, the newly added drip leaf plants are so good at photosynthesis, they can actually grow right through bedrock or any other indestructible block when bone meal. Whether it's because of all these new GMOs or steroids, it just makes for a really weird glitch. If that wasn't cursed enough though, wait till you see you can get water inside the nether. On another broken 1.17 snapshot, if you were to place a glow lichen block inside of a lava source in the nether, it would just make a water source appear out of thin air, like come on Mojang. Unfortunately, no glitch has been found to let you sleep in the nether, but surprisingly, a very dangerous exploit has been discovered using the bed. On any version of the game before 1.12, if you were to place a bed underneath an activated end portal on a multiplayer server and sleep in it, you would instantly crash the server and kick everyone off upon waking up. Yeah, that's a hugely dangerous exploit, but you want to know what else is huge? Hanging roots, because in modern versions of the game, they are as big of an item on the ground as they are an actual block. Like, just look at this. An oak door is smaller than these hanging roots. Like, oh, come on, Mojang. Explain yourselves. All right, so although the glitches and exploits we've looked at so far seem insane, they come nowhere near as crazy as some of the player movement glitches the community has found. Like on this 1.16 snapshot version, if you happen to die and then respawn, you will be put into survival mode and spectator at the same time. Almost like you've entered the fourth dimension. What's even weirder is you can punch yourself from the state, and if you finally wreck yourself enough, you become stuck in this ghost form forever and can't get out of it. Now if you thought that was a weird glitch, wait till you see what I call the villager disposer. On an early version of 1.14, there was a weird glitch where if any mob or player finds himself merging inside of a block, they will no clip into the ground and fall all the way through the world until they are killed in the void. This glitch can be done by simply pushing a block into you, another player, or a mob with a piston, and then they go bye bye. Now if you don't end up no clipping into the back rooms, you might find yourself on the nether roof again, which is perfect because we can perform one of the greatest travel glitches 
stretches in the entire game up here, which allows us to travel tens of millions of blocks in less than a minute. On version 1.13, if you were to set up a nether portal on a flat surface like the nether roof, enter it and throw an ender pearl downwards before going through, the ender pearl will glitch out and travel without you, and when it lands, you'll teleport 8 times further than you were before, pretty much allowing you to reach the world border in less than a minute. And that's that, Minecraft's most game-breaking glitch- oh, wait, 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 we, we forgot one? Minecraft girlfriend dupe? Oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, all I have to do is pull this lever? Oh, okay, let me- let me do this real- Oh my gosh, oh, no, 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 no